Long ago, in a land much unlike our own, there lived two beings, the Lux and the Umbra. Since the dawn of time, the two clans had waged war with one another, as they believed that true peace could not exist while the other lived. A barren wasteland, dubbed the Middle Land, was the last piece of land that wasn't accompanied by either clan, and was also the only thing that both clans had agreed on leaving unoccupied. A Lux warrior was traversing the land of the Lux, searching for something. What she was searching for, she could not recall. The Lux received a summon from the Lord of the Land, and set off to speak with her. Word of an Umbra hiding away in the Middle Land had reached her ears, and she requested that the warrior travel to the Middle Land to find the Infiltrator and erase the problem. The warrior was not fond of battle nor bloodshed, but she yearned for true peace among the lands. She would do what had to be done for that peace. She bowed her head to the Lord and set off on her quest. The Middle Land was barren, desert, lacking in life and light, though she felt a sense of familiarity and comfort in its air. The warrior searched for three days and three nights, looking for any signs of life, until suddenly she was face to face with the most bizarre looking creature. A warrior of darkness. The two warriors immediately drew their blades and thrust themselves into battle. For 100 days and 100 nights, the disciples clashed, neither refusing to lose to the other. On the 101st night, both the warriors collapsed. Exhaustion had finally caught up with them, and they had neither the strength nor the will to carry on. As the soldiers lay there, curiosity overcame the Lux girl. She asked the Umbra warrior what he had hoped to accomplish with his mission. The Lux was surprised, however, by his answer. I wish for true peace. It's as simple as that. Though their paths laid out were very different, they both wished for the same thing. To stop the fighting the bloodshed, the pain endured over centuries. For 100 days and 100 nights, the disciples spoke. To test for one another turned into an understanding, an understanding turned into a friendship, and it was soon after that the two fell in love. And suddenly, the middle land wasn't so empty anymore. It had become a home, a sanctuary for the two, to be who they were, together. On the 101st night, the warriors received word that their return was requested. The warriors desired nothing more than to stay in the Middle Land, their home, and face only the comfort of one another, and not the centuries of hurt and turmoil that lay waiting in their homelands. The Lux spoke first. I will speak to the Lord of my land. I will stop at nothing to be with you, no matter the price. The Umbra hung his head. A cloud passed over his face. He seemed to be in deep thought. I wished for nothing but peace. However, my new true wish is to be with you, my love. I desire it more than the air I breathe. It is not meant to be, however. Reluctantly, the two split ways. The Lux warrior, however, had not given up. The Lux warrior fell to her knees, pleading with the Lord of the land to allow her to be with the one that she loved. The Lord disgusted with the acts of treason, declared the warrior was to be hung for her crimes. She begged, and begged, and begged yet again. I do not wish for war, 
I do not wish for death. I only wish for love. The Lord froze and closed her eyes. As if to be in deep thought, time seemed to stop all around them. After what seemed to be an eternity, the Lord spoke up. I will grant you your wish, child. However, this wish must come with a price. You shall be punished severely in return. The Lux warrior bowed her head and broke into tears. Thank you, my lord. Thank you, she cried. As the warrior stood up, curiosity overcame her. I accept any punishment you bestow upon me for the one I love. But what shall the punishment be? As she spoke, the luck started to float and shine, a product of the Lord's power. The Lord smiled, a sad smile. Your punishment shall be your love. The Lord shook her head, and the light completely enveloped the warrior until she was no more. You will never learn, child. Long ago, in a land much unlike our own, there lived two beings, the Lux and the Umbra. Since the dawn of time, the two clans had waged war with one another, as they believed that true peace could not exist while the other lived. A barren wasteland dubbed the Middle Land was the last piece of land that wasn't accompanied by either clan, and was also the only thing that both clans had agreed on leaving unoccupied. An Umbra warrior was traversing the land of the Umbra, searching for something. What she was searching for, she could not recall. The Umbra received a summon from the Lord of the Land and set off to speak with her. Word of a Lux hiding away in the Middle Land had reached her ears, and she requested that the warrior travel to the Middle Land to find the infiltrator and erase the problem. The warrior was not fond of battle nor bloodshed, but she yearned for true peace among the lands. She would do what had to be done for that peace. She bowed her head to the Lord and set off on her quest. The middle land was barren, desert, lacking in life and light, though she felt a sense of familiarity and comfort in its air. The warrior searched for three days and three nights looking for any signs of life. Until suddenly, she was face to face with the most bizarre looking creature. A warrior. Of light. Hey guys, welcome to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching it. I know it's very different to what I usually make, but I had a lot of fun making this and I hope you enjoyed it. I just realized that I've never announced this on YouTube before, but I actually started a webtoon series where I post comics. As of right now, it's just silly little comics and Q&As, but I do have plans in the future to create full length stories much like this video. So if that's something that interests you, then the link for it will be in the description and the information card above. Also, if you watch the video and you're a little confused as to what happened, um, read the comments. I'm sure someone down there can help you. Thanks once again for watching. I'll see you all next time. Okay, love you. Bye.